Hi there, for this video, we'll be trying to solve this problem on algebra. So we are given evaluate 1 cube minus 2 cube plus 3 cube minus 4 cube plus 5 cube and so on until plus 99 cube minus 100 cube plus 101 cube. So for this problem, we will require several basic concepts on algebra in order to solve this one. So the first is that we take note that we can write even and odd as 2n and 2n plus 1, where n refers to a natural number. So natural numbers are, or also known as counting numbers, are numbers that uh, is ranged from 1 up to infinity where these are whole numbers except 0. After that, we take note of this this one that a cube minus b cube is equal to this one. Lastly, we will also need some summation properties such as this one wherein the summation of a constant c is simply c times n. Then we will also need this one wherein if there is a constant and a variable that is um, that varies depending on the summation but the constant is unaffected we can just move that out of the summation. And lastly when we have two out here we can split them up in the summation process. So take note of these. And now let us try solving the given problem. So let's first let this one to be equal to S. So S is equal to some rearrangement of the terms would give us 101 cube minus 100 cube plus 99 cube and so on plus 5 cube minus 4 cube plus 3 cube minus 2 cube plus 1. Afterwards, we can group this one into 101 cube minus 100 cube plus 99 cube minus 98 cube and so on until 3 cube minus 2 cube plus 1. So the 1 is the only one without a group. And then observe that in this one we can write these um, odd numbers as 2 raised to k plus 1 and this even numbers as 2 raised to k. So this one would become summation of 2 raised to k plus 1 cube minus 2 raised to k cube plus the one out here. So plus 1. And this one ranges from k equals 1 up to 50. So this is the range of the summation because at 50, that would give us this group. Since 2 times 50 out here plus 1 would give 101 and 100 out here. And at k equals 1, that would give us this group. So it covers the whole summation. And so, afterwards, we will apply the algebraic property out here that mentioned a while ago. Since this one is equal to 2k plus 1 minus 2k times 2k plus 1 squared plus 2k plus 1 mm, times 2k 
plus 2k squared. And mm, we put a parenthesis out here plus 1. And the summation. Oops. Plus 1 and 50. So let's just um, clear some space. Uh, there and then let's bring this one up right there so that is what we have so far and then we can simplify this whole so that would give us summation from 50 k equals 1 in here since we both have 2k and negative 2k we can cancel that one out. So this one whole is just one. And then for the next one, so we only need to focus on this one. This one is equal to uh, 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. So we also need the concept of a square of a binomial. Uh, I haven't, I wasn't able to mention that in the prerequisite knowledge a while ago but let's continue plus this term out here would give us 4k squared plus 2k and the last one here would give us 4k squared plus 1 so we can't forget the plus 1 since that would be important for our answer and then simplifying further would give us 50 k equals 1 this one out here would become combining the like terms would give us 12 k squared plus 6 k plus 1 and the plus 1 out here and so from here we're gonna apply the summation properties that we had a while ago so this one would become summation of 50 out here then this one would become 12 k squared plus summation from k equals 1 to 50 of 6k and the summation of from k equals 1 to 50 again of 1 plus 1 Remove the equal sign out here. So this is what we have so far. But note that in this two, we can actually move out this one out here and this one out here. And also for this one, since this is a constant, we can apply the rule a while ago, wherein this one is simply equal to c n for that is the formula for a while ago but for this one we have the constant one times the number of terms which is 50 so plus one this one would become six summation of 50 from k equals one k and the summation from k equals one to 50 of k squared with 12 out here now, this one is the crucial part, since this one is the surprising thing that we should note. I also haven't mentioned this a while ago, but note that k squared is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. So this is the summation formula for the sum of of squares wherein n refers to the number of terms and for this other one this is basic geometric series which is the formula is n over 2 
times a sub 1 plus a sub n, where n is the number of terms and a sub 1 is the first term and a sub n is the uh, last term in the series. So applying this would actually give us with 12 times n, the n here is 50, so 50 times 50 plus 1 is 51 times in here, applying 50 here, would give us 101 all over 6 plus 6 times mm, 50 over 2 times a sub 1 is 1 plus a sub n out here, or the last term is 50. Plus 50 from out here, plus 1. So as you can observe here, this is just basic arithmetic that we need to do in order to solve the outcome for this problem. Now I will leave this to you as a uh, arithmetic exercise or you can just use a calculator to plug in the values. But this one would give us, the first would give us 515,100 plus this one would give us 7,650 and um, combining these two would give us 51. So adding this three up would give us with um, this final answer. So I hope that this one is correct. Let's try to quickly verify that one out here. 5, 100, 7,650, and 51. So adding this, so quick math things, and yep, so it's correct. So this one is the answer for this problem. So yeah, quite a lot of prerequisite knowledge required in this problem but you know, that's math you really need to master the fundamentals in order to solve harder and more tricky problems yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to comment down below your solutions to this one so maybe we can find a better and more easier solution to this one that wouldn't require a lengthy process and so that's all for this video.